Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1996 Chevrolet Impala. This is one of my dream cars when I was growing up and I've had the opportunity to buy several. This is a very, very nice driver quality example. I would call this an eight out of 10. If you guys wanna find out full details on this ride, click on the link below that'll have underside shots, a full gallery, and this video. Let's do it. Let's talk about the overall condition. This is easily an eight out of 10. That's an 80% out of 100. Very nice. We recently serviced it over $4,000 in receipts. This includes new tires, new brakes. We did the OptiSpark as well. So that's a very tedious process if you know anything about this engine. Uh, air condition was serviced, window switches were serviced, along with host, a host of other items. So you'll see that in the description below. If you click on it, there's gonna be a full gallery and all of the receipts. Overall condition, very nice, just minor imperfections on the paint, so small little rock chips, etc. But overall, all the body panels are very nice, nice and solid. Uh, I believe there's one door ding on the passenger side, which you'll see in the gallery, which is right over here, and you can barely see it in video, I'm sure. Let's go to the driver's side real quick so I can show you all that. It starts up easily, steering wheel is very nice, and we'll go over that more when we get inside. Keys work. Starts up easily, it is cold. I can put all the windows down, which I'll leave down for the rest of the video. As I said, the brakes are fresh. You do have an aftermarket stereo in here. There are several amplifiers and a subwoofer in the rear. I did get power to it and I can hear it, but. I believe that the tuning needs to be done on it. Uh, air condition blows cold, and we'll go over that more when we go for the test drive. 96 has a center shifter, 95 had the column shifter. These are great platforms, great on the highway, they drive really nice. Let me talk more about the exterior here. Closing the door, closes nicely. Driver's side is extremely clean, just minor imperfections where your hand would go for the door handle. All of your lock mechanisms are nice. Rear doors open up nicely. Carpet is extremely clean, as are the leather seats. Rear glass is nice. All of your Impala SS emblems are in good condition. They're not coming off. And once again, all the body panel gaps are even throughout. So this is a no wreck car. You can see the underside shots if you click on the link below. So that'll have the underside. Someone has uh, coated it at some point, but it looks very nice. All the suspension components are very nice as well. Brand new Riken tires on there, and they were balanced as well. Um, rear tail lights are very clean, so if you want to come over here, we'll show you the rear. Taking a look at the rear, very clean. I don't see any swirls in the paint. Rear bumper is nice, just small imperfections where the gas fill is from the license plate. They probably had a tag on here at some point and it just touched right here. You do have dual exhaust. When I open up the trunk, it's very clean. You do have a uh, tire, a spare tire here that I uncovered so you could see it. You have all of your jacking instructions, PPI amp. You also have a crossover equalizer right here, and then you have your SPID, which goes over all of the options for this vehicle. Very clean trunk. I love that they added a little subwoofer here, and when you close it, it's nice and solid. Let's go to the passenger side. Door cards are very nice. Uh, the only thing I see is the color for the actual door switch is starting to show its age. That's just because the plastic is aging. Center section is very clean. All of your metal throughout is nice. Your rubber, your, your rubber right here is very clean and it closes nicely. The small door ding that I was trying to find in the sun, which I couldn't see, is right here. There's a small imperfection right here. That's really it on the whole car. Opening up the rear section, the door cards are very nice. Carpet is nice throughout. And once again, all the rubber looks really good. You wouldn't know that this has over 100,000 miles and we just serviced it completely. So if you wanna fly in and drive it home, it is ready to do that and you're gonna have a ton of fun. Let me pop the hood, or do you wanna go over the interior? What do you want? Hood. hood it is. Taking a look under the hood, we have an LT1 power plant that's 260 horsepower. This is a great highway cruiser. 40 to 60 mile an hour bursts are unreal. So that 260 horsepower hits at 5,000 RPM. Also, you have a cold air intake. The um, 
OptiSpark has been serviced along with the cooling fans for the radiator. So the cooling fans were making a ton of noise when we received it. That was taken care of. Air condition was serviced. Uh, what else did we do here? New battery. Um, the list goes on. So I would take a look at the listing below. So click on the link and you're going to have the receipts there to see everything that we did to it. That is guaranteeing that you have a turnkey unit. You guys can fly in and drive it home. Let's get inside there so I can show you how beautiful that interior is. It's like a living room you drive around. Taking a look at the interior, extremely nice. You would not know that this has over 100,000 miles. The leather is very nice. The only imperfections I would see would be a little bit of wear on the leather portion where your perforated leather is. Door cards are very nice. All of the uh, window regulators work as they should. Your lights operate. Look at how nice the steering wheel is. And then you have your center shift that is 96 only. Brake pedals look great. You're gonna see two small little boxes in the photos that say ADS. Those are actually uh, amplifiers for the speakers here. So you do have a very cool stereo. I have not figured out how to work it, by the way, but uh, it does turn on. Uh, you have power to all the amplifiers. I just can't figure out how to, how to set it up. So whoever gets it will be able to do that. Headliner is very nice. You have your SS insignia on your headrests along with the Impala insignia in the rear seat in the center. This is a beautiful example. We're gonna jump in it right now and take it for a test drive. Once again, you can put the key in this, start it right up. There's no check engine lights. New O2 sensors as well. The list goes on. Let's go for a ride. All right, let's start her up and go for a test drive. Just started at 120 degrees. Fuel tank is working. All of our gauges lit up and then turned off. 106,568 miles on it. You do have an aftermarket Kenwood stereo that we went over. Dash is super nice. Brakes are great because we just replaced them. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We're going to go over some bumps here so you can see what the... Everybody calls this thing a bubble top. Um, they're just luxurious. They, they, they basically glide over the roads. We're going over bumps right now. You don't feel anything. The only thing you're going to hear, obviously, the door cards, which is, which is typical, and my phone in the center section. No funny sounds from the exhaust. Very smooth. The steering feels good. It's not loose, which would be typical for something that has high, high mileage. Horn works. Air conditions blowing cold right now. Cigarette lighter is clean. Within reason, it looks like someone has used it once or twice. I don't know the exact number, but headliner's nice. Feels good going through the gears. No banging in the in regards to the transmission. Once we get to the back area, I'll accelerate so you can see it shift through the gears properly. It is sorted. Um, it's ready to enjoy. So if you guys are looking for a turnkey SS with brand new tires, brakes, the list goes on. This is definitely it. How do you feel over there? I feel like I'm sitting in my living room. Isn't it nice? It's like a couch. I'm so relaxed right now. This was, this was like the BA car, the badass car from the 90s. And then when I was in high school, this was like in the... 2000. This was the car that the cool kids had. Or drug dealers, I don't know. Whatever, whatever one you want to pick. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't know if they're drug dealers or not. You got your controls here so you can go through your trip. So we put 98 miles on it. Or 58 miles, I'm sorry. 58 miles. We'll take a left here and then I'll be able to test out the acceleration once we get this truck that's in front of us out of the way. Nice and smooth. Here we go. I'll... Feels good. It has up top power. Wow. Yeah, you, you, would you expect yeah, that out no. of this? <laughs> no, I no. didn't expect that. Yep. First gear, it, so it downshifted into two gears, but if you had it in the right gear, like so say I, I keep it in first and, and roll it, it accelerates really good, like. That's to operating speed right there. So it runs really good. Once again, if you guys have any questions about this ride, you can give us a call, 954-363-2261. We're gonna get some outside shots for you and let you decide if you wanna put this in your garage.
hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm out of here. <laughs>